Hello friends, welcome back and um, today I am going to discuss about this AVR and Power PC. That agenda will be uh, like AVR core, you will see that quickly go through that. I have already discussed that earlier also and uh, risk concepts and then instruction, um, you know, pipeline concept, risk history with Power PC and uh, the SOCH. Okay, so let me quickly go through that um, first uh, uh, this thing, um, uh, whatever the key takeaway will be like risk based concepts today and uh, that if you have not subscribed that the Embed Curry channel, please subscribe it and uh, AVR we will discuss um, from this um, link and um, I provided that AVR program memory everything in my earlier blog. Okay, so today our focus is to look into that from the perspective of uh, risk score okay uh, so as you know this is also risk based score and this harvard architecture and having different data and uh, you know program uh, memory and um, so that advantage it takes actually uh, separate and uh, that's why this is the register file basically and this also i have discussed earlier that what is the use of this 16 bit register what is the 8 bit um, you know registers and at a time it is taking two instructions and that goes to that L unit and then after that execution, uh, this is the execution unit here, after that it will basically uh, write to the status register or update other register or um, you know uh, some uh, after that the memory. So basically you can see instruction decode here and different different that purpose to discuss this is like uh, uh, these uh, whatever the unit here like uh, instruction uh, register is there file uh, decode is there and it should like uh, data memory is there and then this is the uh, arithmetic logic unit is there so it is fetching instruction from here and uh, that uh, corresponding you know whatever the operands and that operate uh, based on the register or data it operates from that okay so this is the concept of our AVR core and um, that uh, I will not go to the detail the reason I am not going to the detail here that because I have already discussed this here uh, if you would like to go to the detail so please uh, you know refer to this uh, particular blog okay this completely you know all the detail I have uh, related to uh, you know boot um, uh, even like booting kind of uh, program memory and uh, uh, these kind of you know fuse bytes everything I have discussed uh, so uh, so that is single pipeline in this case one like instruction is uh, going to that execution unit then um, prefetch for the another one so this is the AVR based and uh, the microcontroller there are al other also like uh, tiny and uh, we, we, we in the Arduino no, having the add mega so that's why um, that is the mega uh, mega AVR based and uh, there is also tiny AVR and X mega so all depend on that flash size and different kind of peripherals that uh, you can see that and AVR 32 is also there but uh, that AVR 32 uh, now uh, the microchip moved to this uh, arm uh, so that's why that is um, apt out on that and even the uh, Linux kernel support is not there uh, dropped from AVR32 uh, now I believe and uh, okay so let me come back to our next uh, point of discussion uh, so um, that is that risk architecture uh, main points we will discuss like simple instructions with execution time one clock cycle so uh, the risk concept is uh, basically that um, idea is that the performance mostly depend on the instructions uh, and um, let's say um, uh, you know 80 um, percent on the based on the instruction kind of assumption 20 percent because of all other things so that's why that simple instruction reduce instruction set and simple instruction set which can execute in one clock cycle that is one of the point another thing is work is divided between load and store unit okay and cycles per instructions are reduced by overlapped instruction execution using pipeline that pipeline you will see in the next slide per instruction okay 
note this point cycles per instruction reduced okay based on the pipeline concept that we will see that how it is reduced it will go to one cycle uh, and independent register to register load and store instructions okay so this is important point because if like uh, register to register is not there so you might have just observed in the abr that from the register it is going uh, one from register file and other from the instruction so and alu is operating on register so initially that if the data is loaded into registers if it is there most of the operations is being done in between register that will be faster also that additionally that will not load the bus suppose if you have to fetch that um, particular data from the memory every time so that will load that uh, cpu to uh, memory bus and if there are multiple execution units and everybody is uh, you know patching that from memory so that is um, uh, you know create that that will create the problem with the performance so this is the performance enhancement point so another thing is like uh, so because of the simpler instructions there is no this is complex instruction so uh, but that cost side will be bigger so that is means emphasis on the software that you have to do on the software not on the hardware like an intel platform and reduce simple instructions require less transistors so we will have more space that can be utilized for memory related registers so that is the idea behind the risk okay let's say pipelining uh, concept so pipeline filling concept um, uh, let's say uh, it is divided into in the top you can say uh, like fetch decode dispatch execution complete and write back so i have taken example of simple ideal one you know six stage pipeline just to explain the concept so it is not necessarily that uh, instruction will be in order and sometime there are, it is not like that simple but to understand that concept i have given this example and also uh, pipeline dap depends on um, you know implementation one core to another core it depends and even x86 also you can find uh, 486 pentium onwards you know that uh, pipeline it may be 4 6 8 12 so depending on the architecture okay and then first section fetch and the analogy of this you can think of if you go to a, a production a product um, you know manufacturing unit so you can think of let's say there is an electronic product um, manufacturing unit and there is uh, one stage let's say uh, at this particular stage um, suppose that um, component assembly is being done and at this particular state let's say some uh, you know hands on fixing kind of or maybe web soldering kind web soldering kind of thing done this uh, stage suppose some checking uh, you know uh, visual inspection of the board being done here let's say some testing being done and further um, you know round of uh, test cycle and final uh, quality check so so that each stage depend on other uh, okay so but once it is started from one side so you know, first time it will take time let's say if each uh, take one hour so first time it will take um, like uh, one two three four five six hour to just to fill or okay so after that every one hour you will see the product outside okay and so similar concept here and similarly you can think of another uh, analogy here uh, let's say um, uh, simple water pipeline if you are for the gardening so first time it takes time to fill that pipe using the uh, water after that continuous flow will be there so that kind of analogy um, you can think of this so now first instruction move to the uh, decode stage instruction one and second in the fetch stage now let's see third one now instruction fetch and first one what happened to first one first one is now instruction dispatched to the load execution unit it means it is a load instruction so load execution unit it is going there so depending on the instruction it will move to different execution unit okay and the second one is now in a decode stage let's say another one comes to that uh, fetch instruction four now our instruction one at the at the execution so all other moved accordingly now instruction one is the complete and instruction five is 
at the five. So uh, instruction one in the completion unit, and after that. Uh, you can also note down for example this um, uh, third instruction uh, it it is dispatching to the store unit right now store unit and next instruction you will see like uh, this add is basically instruction dispatched to integer execution here is the integer and top one was the load so now the first one moved to the because it has uh, after completion unit it has come to the uh, write back means writing back to the status register or memory um, so after that this instruction will retire so this is the way it works so by this time now pipeline is uh, filling is complete and all uh, basically uh, execution units are busy right now and this rad is indicating busy if you if you go back you will see like from the beginning itself uh, left most then busy then second becomes busy and then third becomes busy fourth and uh, now all execution units are busy it means that all are working and this is the optimal working and every if each uh, execution unit is taking one cycle now so every one cycle now onwards instruction execution will happen instruction will you know after write back will retire on the left side uh, more instruction will keep coming right side uh, keep retiring so that why that uh, that way and let's see another way of all execution units are busy or active this way so means at one point of of time while the first instruction was in a write back second was in a completion third one is a execution and uh, this one was is a dispatch and uh, one was in a decode and last one uh, you know was in the return command was in the patch state only so that this is the pipelining concept Okay, let's take a pause for two minutes that we uh, um, for this impo important information after that we will continue. So we provide web based practical oriented training if some student uh, you know have some problem with the setup or those kind of things also we can help and uh, you know particular setup is not there hardware is not there. that is also we can think um, how to you know work with that particular uh, student and on demand technical videos technical support uh, okay for marketing purpose um, technical videos and uh, training on various tools code wearer eclipse id or uh, you know iot related things so those kind of things we provide and uh, uh, like uh, you may um, contact imbedkari for um, you know personal mentoring as well as any kind of training technical support debugging board bring up those kind of stuff we provide and so let me go back to our uh, this thing where we uh, started this uh, so risk concept we have covered now actually that um, risk was basically um, uh, this thing IBM based uh, product so first uh, you know uh, quickly go through the history of this IBM uh, PC was the first risk after that uh, uh, 1980 that uh, power um, architecture what they call performance optimization with enhanced risk. So this is the first ISI instruction set architecture by IBM only and uh, then PowerPC in 92 that was 32 or 64-bit instruction set and that was basically uh, by AIM that is Apple, IBM and Motorola. So that's why that lot of you know pre Intel based uh, Mac system, Mac OS were based on this um, uh, PowerPC based and um, uh, PowerPC being used lot of other gaming related things Sony, PlayStation 2, Nintendo is still being used and uh, PlayStation games and all that and apart from that a uh, lot of gaming console. Uh, 2002 like Motorola and IBM made bookie that is e um, extension of this power PC and that is e power embedded and that Motorola based on that build the power quick uh, processor and this here quick is for it stands for quiet integration communication controller and uh, we can quickly go through that it means that uh, for uh, communication controller so basically uh, for communication controller where serial communication controller where like for supporting like ethernet and for supporting SDLC bus for UART and synchronous UART those kind of features but in fact there were 
सेवन कम्युनिकेशन कंट्रोलर ओके सो बट द नेम वॉज मेनली बेस्ड ऑन दिस दिस फोर ओके सो दैट्स वाई इट इज कॉल्ड द पावर क्विक बेस्ड एंड वी हैव ए we we can quickly scan through that um, what uh, that series was there that series is um, uh, you know was known as uh, power quick 1 power quick 2 power quick 2 pro and power quick 3 so this was based on e300 and some other you know and um, power quick uh, 3 was based on e500 core and e from that uh, bookie and uh, here uh, i can you can see like uh, this device this power quick 1 device Uh, i mean almost uh, more than uh, 15 year back you know is still active okay so what's inside that if we quickly look into that we can go to that documentation because it is a active device that's why we uh, this particular uh, documentation we can see that and here you will see that what is there uh, like serial communication controller scc stand for Uh, so this is the different combination on different different devices like here right now it is particular s1 s3 s4 maybe somewhere s1 s2 those kind of alag um, those kind of different uh, you know another uh, serial communication and uh, uh, dma and uh, left side you can say like 10 10 by 100 um, you know base um, ethernet and uh, here you can see like uh, core and this side that uh, cache here the ddr and uh, here basically that uh, risk internal risk controller so th that was basically uh, power quick one so um, i will not um, take too much time on this because this is pretty old device and 2004 the power architecture then ibm and 15 other companies like power dot uh, org they created and after that uh, free scale uh, joined power dot org in 2006 and uh, Uh, then power org released the power iso version this 2.03 uh, and after that 2013 that ibm founded this open power uh, foundation opening up licensing of their future power aid processor and related technologies and right now the latest one is power 9 and power 9 will have um a very important role in uh, this role in this uh, artificial intelligence and big data and those kind of things that we will discuss whenever we will discuss high computing devices okay right now we will not discuss anything related to this ibm because most of the devices are related to the uh, server related thing actually uh, so initially that ibm uh, power pc architecture was for three books they call different specification and books different books actually three books so i have provided the link also uh, downloading of this uh, three books you can uh, you should be able to access you know uh, 2.02 before the 2.03 these through three books were there and uh, now uh, power architecture you can see uh, like total uh, now it is uh, three you know, where um, uh, now five because three uh, further categorized to two devices uh, sorry two books like one is uh, for as per server e for embedded and here you can see like book one is called uisa means user interface Uh, set architecture okay so as the name implies that it is for uh, user specific program programming application programming and all that uh, user related things flow control in, um, you know integer floating point everything will be in this and second is related to virtual environment architecture it means whenever virtual comes into the picture it means something related to to physical to virtual memory kind of you can think of so a lot of thing related to like memory timing synchronization cache management storage byte ordering everything will be in this and third one is um, like operating environment architecture you can think of let's say operating system kernel um, so this is like uh, if you if you see that this architecture uh, um, a closer look it is like uh, linux kind of uh, 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 favor i think uh, i will say uh, like that uh, for user based hardware um, uh, you know privileges and this is the kernel based and then <coughs> sorry then here you can see all the kernel related memory management interrupt exception and debug facilities whatever the privileges will be there in this particular um, 
uh, mode will be there and um, then this particular mode will have like uh, because kernel do will do all kind of exception handling scheduling everything and this is further divided into server as i told and the embedded um, related thing so our this uh, today we will be discussing that uh, a book related devices and another one book they added that is called that uh, variable length encoded instruction this is like uh, for 16 and 32 bit uh, similar to like arm um, uh, thumb instruction and 32 bit instructions kind of uh, support for uh, like embedded uh, you know uh, low end applications and most of the these devices you will find in the automotive uh, domain uh, the automotive domain power pc devices based on these cores that we will see that and uh, freescale or nxp uh, specific uh, power uh, cores can be divided into classic power pc e300 e600 or bookie based um, I means that uh, those which were before Buki and after Buki. So in the Buki, suppose if I go to E200 core, so E200 core as I told you in the use in automotive and you can see the lowest one is here simply instruction patch and instruction decoder integer unit is there 32 bit uh, register register file will be there load storage unit is there this is for debugging purpose and this interface bus interface this is the basic core this core with different kind of peripherals will make device and also it is um, you know e200 um, used in other devices high end devices also can be mixed and matched in internal devices also mm -hmm. and that uh, BLE core based and this is uh, uh, further uh, MMU added to this one okay after that uh, you will see that here uh, uh, after the MMU uh, four stage pipeline is here and here also four stage pipeline and the lowest end four stage pipeline is although like ABR we have seen one stage pipeline so highest core here uh, like E200 Jet 6 uh, we can see here like 64 bit GPRs are there and unified cache is also now MMU is also there and also SIMD and APU unit um, are there uh, for enhanced DSP support so this is for uh, high end uh, devices uh, th this particular core uh, and uh, okay so this is another core is uh, this e500 generally used in uh, this uh, industrial and this communication and here you can see different um, variant are there e500 version 1 2 and mc version 1 were having you know certain uh, features um, uh, like you know that uh, features we can quickly go through this uh, non SP instructions and that uh, you know support for a single procedure embedded scalar floating point all those kind of things and uh, below that E500 V2 is having like uh, uh, 32 bit and 36 bit physical address space and definitely that MMU will be there and uh, then other um, you know these kind of uh, double precision embedded scal scalar floating point and uh, MC stand for multi-core uh, kind of because it will have the hypervisor and virtualization kind of so uh, the device like uh, P4080 support uh, you know this like P4080 means that uh, 4 stand for some sort of platform type 8 means core 8 core device of P series and uh, let me go back uh, quickly uh, we can look into that one of the product and uh, I can take one of the randomly any product uh, from this particular device uh, let's say I as I told you like uh, P4080 device we can take uh, so this is P1234 uh, one is for low end and uh, as we increase that platform then that will be um, changed platform is the peripheral we are providing here total 8 core and each core like here L2 cache backside cache and uh, like here that D cache I cache 3232 and power PC E500 MC core other you can see frame manager are there two frame manager are there uh, supporting like uh, classification parsing ethernet related features and 10 gig and 1 gig ports you can say total uh, 2 10 gig and 8 1 gig port apart from that PCI express and serial rapid IO this is for PCI express and serial rapid IO you can use you know external devices for example FPGA and other devices and DMA is there 
and this is for debugging purpose right most and uh, other things left most you can see usb and uh, you know uh, this security engine is there and queue manager uh, buffer manager and pattern matching pattern matching engine uh, those kind of things um, are uh, available usb we can see usb controller are there two usb controller and uh, mmc sd and uh, uh, two double uh, UART uh, controller for I2C controller, SPI is also there, GPI is there. So this is the you know, one of the high end um, P series, but uh, now this, uh, you know, uh, the latest one has this thing, uh, latest, uh, I, I would say like the latest power architecture based device is the T series. But there, otherwise the networking devices, there are ARM based devices like LS1043 and all that. When we will discuss ARM, then we will look into that. In that, if we look into the lowest one, let's say T1013 or T1014. So, 14 is having, if I quickly go through that. So, this device you can see here, like uh, E5500 hand core and this is the 32 bit and uh, 32 kilobyte, uh, 32 kilobyte instruction and data cache separate and L2 cache uh, 256 kilobyte and platform cache that is we can call it L3 cache which can be shared um, between cores or it which can be used and uh, as uh, you know um, static uh, RAM, SRAM and SPI and all those kind of uh, DOR, SD, MMC all those features are there IFC for flash controller and in the earlier ELBC local bus controller was there earlier P uh, devices and here like uh, 10, gig bit, uh, 10 gigabit Ethernet 1 gigabit you can say multiple there and SADES lanes, uh, PC Express and all those SADES based and here the debugging related thing is there. Okay, so this is the quick overview of uh, the lower device. The highest device is this P4240. So it is having 24 virtual cores. So, uh, so this is the highest one. So um, you can see multi three layers. So uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, 4 into 3 12 and 12 thread thread 1 thread 2 so total 24 cores will be there and uh, this data cache instruction cache and other things you can see here frame manager and having like 10 gig 1 gig kind of set uh, two frame manager two sets are there PCI express rapid io all those high end, high speed interfaces are there and uh, this is the debugging purpose and right side you can see like uh, DDR3 support, DDR3L support is there, 1, 2, 3 DDR uh, controller I see here uh, and uh, this different uh, um, platform cache in, in individual and this kind of um, basically fabric is required, uh, <coughs> sorry, this is called para peripheral access management unit because uh, with to handle such a you know high speed communication between core and peripherals or peripheral to peripheral we need to have very sophisticated mechanism here so that's why this is there and left side you can see i2c 4 i2c 4 dur sdmmc ifc for plus controller for plus related and usb and security monitor is also there in this also you will see like secure boot and those kind of features will be there and data compression engine is also there oh, okay so um, this uh, R manager and also that security manager, Q manager, pattern matching uh, related thing in that, uh, uh, you know, uh, pattern matching required for that, uh, you know, Ethernet related and buffer manager, frame manager, Q manager for uh, Ethernet uh, uh, related things. And this is uh, the classification parsing, everything can be done in the hardware. So that, that kind of high end core is there uh, for uh, Miro networking. So this is the T series. Okay, uh, so uh, that's it and um, uh, if you have not subscribed the YouTube uh, channel Embedkari, please subscribe it. If you want to, you know, interested in open source other technologies, please visit this particular link and uh, thanks for your time. If you like this uh, video, please, uh, you know, if you, uh, this is the quick overview of uh, networking processor, power PC history and uh, uh, starting from the simplest one. Uh, single pipeline uh, AVR based risk core and I try to explain that pipeline concept also and similar <coughs> pipeline concept will be used in x86 also. If you liked it, please, please like that and uh, share that um, uh, YouTube video. Thanks for your time.